a bunch of guys just piling up in a big bathtub together? It's called male bonding, okay? Haven't you even seen wild hogs? Watch out, here I come. Come, come, come. What the hell happened last night? Is there some kind of retro thing going on this weekend? There's something going on in here. Dude is rocking a cassette player. Must be some kind of hot tub time machine. I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Jay. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. Mike. And today we're viewing Hot Tub Time Machine in the hot tub, of course. Oh, Kat man. couldn't make it because she, you know, she's a girl, and this is a buddy movie. This really is a guy movie. It so made me want so to go. It's so sexist. Whatever. Whoa, Why don't you guys go touch the And the review is ruined. Let's do a buddy review with Kat with three buddies. Yay. Why are you dressed like that? Yeah, like a hooker. Like a $4 hooker. Yeah, this is so 80s. Hello, bright colors. Beautiful scrunchie, you're jealous, and chernobyl -y. The plot of Hot Tub Time Machine, there are these three friends that are going nowhere in life. Three friends going nowhere in their life. That sounds kind of familiar. And also John Cusack's nephew in this movie. And they're just not doing well at all. One of the friends tries to kill himself, so John Cusack has this idea. They should all go together to this Kodiak ski resort where they had the time of their life back in the 80s. What do you got there? Hilarious. It's Chernobyl right there. It is a Russian energy drink that has things in it that are illegal. And it causes them to actually time travel when it pours into the controls of the hot tub. So they have a wild night of partying in this hot tub and they just get really, really drunk and they drink this Chernobyl and then it spills on the hot tub very much like this. Well, why did you do that for? Well, we'll just have to see what happens. So then they get to 1986 Winterfest and they have to relive this night of their youth and they have until dawn to, you know, either do the exact same things or to change history and change their lives forever. I love this movie, first of all, and second of all, I love best it. The best part about this movie is that it's almost a sequel to Back to the Future. And guess who's in it? Mick Fly's in it. Crispin Glover. So Craig Robinson is Mick. He was in the 40-year-old version, yep. wasn't he? Yep. And that's pretty good. thing he does, and he continues that trend in this movie. So Clark Duke plays Jacob, and he's like the nephew of John Cusack. He was funny. He tried to keep the whole group together the whole time and tried to keep them on track. Well, the reason he had to do that is because he was fighting for his existence. <laughs> yeah. The character doesn't conceive with another character. He doesn't exist so he's just scrambling trying to make things that happen in the past happen again or else everything's going to be thrown off the new uh, time-lapse continuum so one of my favorite scenes is when Cusack is depressed and he goes back to his hotel room and does a shitload of drugs and starts writing breakup poetry love poetry and he does this all oh. the time apparently all his friends hate it but when he gets depressed he writes love poetry yeah and they're like again, oh. again yeah. and Chevy Chase also makes an appearance he's the repairman which is so, you know, they should have got Doc Brown. So what did you guys not like about this movie? Nothing. I thought it was a perfect I know buddy Kat has comedy. Something. Well, because she's a chick, and it's a guy movie. <laughs> Mike and I, after we saw it, decided that we're going on a trip. <laughs> it's not like a perfect movie. The, and sometimes the pacing was a little bit slow, and it was boring at hey. times. But overall, it's a great movie. Oh, I didn't find myself bored. I, I was into it the whole time. It was totally entertaining. Really, really funny. The story was interesting, and I wanted to find out what happened to the characters. They put a little romance in for the girly girls. And, and for me. And then the end is cool, because you really want to find out, like, do things change? If so, in what way? They did a really good job of this. I would totally give this, like, an 8.5. Now, the previews lead you to believe it's horrible, which it's not. It's totally different than the previews. It's such a good buddy movie. And I also give it an 8.5 uh, just because of the uh, the guy in the bear suit giving the other character a blowjob in the hot tub alone. I laughed so hard when I saw that, so I have to give it an 8.5. The whole hot tub scene was hilarious. Yeah. The camera's like spinning around and you see like Michael Jackson. A whole bunch of other weird things like a bear. I'll give it an 8.5. I think it's one of the best romantic buddy comedies for a while. So we agree finally. Romantic, yeah? You like that? I do. You and I finally agree, and we also have agreed that we're going on our first ever road trip. Yeah. And we're probably gonna steal a cop car. And hopefully we'll be able to go back in time and fix all this guy's problems. Yeah. Look mouthful. into his eyes, there's demons within. And we'll make a vlog about it. You're not invited. A buddy. It's a buddy adventure. But she's a butt. It just doesn't work. She's a butt. Three butts. Can't do it. Hey! I have an idea. Let's go back in time and save Mike's fucking life. That's not how it works. Oh. They pour it on this. Yeah. Go back in time and fucking do the quad over. Yeah, let's do it better. Yeah. Where does, where does it go? Right there. Right do there, it. my friend. <laughs> Nothing. Your nipples look younger. What's the yours? Yours look like it. Well, it's not working, man. What, the, what are your idea didn't work? Oh. What year is it? Do you guys know what year it is by a chance? 2010. 
the fuck are you doing in my hot tub? We thought it was a time machine. What are you doing for dinner later? Get the fuck out of my hot tub. Well, book them, huh? Book it. International movie databases. That's what I gotta deal with. Rob Gold Goldry or whatever. That's his name. I don't think so. Arguing. Hot tub. <clears throat>